I'm going to use some physics to answer the question of whether or not Rapunzel really could support someone's weight just with her hair. So I'm going to make a few assumptions. The first is that it's possible to grow your hair to be 20 metres long. And that's a conservative estimate of what Rapunzel's length was. Hair usually takes um, one year to grow about 15 centimetres. So to grow 20 metres of hair would usually take 133 years. That's if everything else goes well. The current world record is about five and a half meters and mine probably a measly 1.3 meters, something like that. But let's assume it's possible. Now Rapunzel's hair is going to weigh a lot. I found one estimate that 12 centimeters of hair would weigh 0.62 milligrams. That works out to be 103 milligrams for 20 meters of hair. Multiply that by 150,000 hairs on an average blonde head, and we end up with 15 and a half kgs of hair. Now let's look at some forces. Downwards, we have the force of gravity acting on the hair. That's going to be 155 newtons. Add the weight of, say, a prince, and take his mass to be 80 kgs, that gives us a total downwards force of 955 newtons. Now there's actually no way that Rapunzel's neck would be able to withstand that kind of force. And in fact, one of the weakest components in this is going to be the bonds between her hair and her scalp and connecting to the skull. So the hair would actually probably get ripped out there if all of that force is going straight to the roots. However, that doesn't mean it's not possible to hold that weight. Rapunzel just needs to hook her hair or tie it around something to take that force directly off her neck and head. If she can do that, then lifting a prince shouldn't actually be a problem because in fact, human hair is incredibly strong each strand of it can hold about 100 grams. That's about one apple. So put together for 150,000 strands, human hair should be able to lift 15,000 kgs. That's incredible. And that's a casual 188 princes.